Hello everyone, Joe Buffalo here. I've got a new tutorial for you today. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build this cool looking fence gate that opens and closes on both sides. This build would look really awesome in a castle build or coming into a city. All right, enough playing around, let's get into the build. So the first thing we wanna do is to identify a chunk of space in Minecraft. And there are many, many ways to do that. The way I did was I went to chunkbase.com and identified a chunk using the seed of this world. The chunk is outlined in the orange terracotta. After you identified your chunk, you can go ahead and build with inside of the chunk. You're going to need an area that is five by three and five blocks deep. So I did this here to show you what that's gonna look like inside of the chunked area. Now we're going to come to the front corner of your build and we're going to go ahead and place in sticky pistons across the five blocks here. You'll have something that looks like that and then on top of that you're going to put regular pistons. Now that we have our pistons down turn around and go ahead and place a redstone repeater in the back of each sticky piston. Now place that redstone repeater on three ticks delay which is hitting it twice with the right click button. Now behind there, we want to put redstone dust right along the back of those repeaters. And then we want to put gravel on top of the pistons three high. We come right to the base. Now on top of your gravel, you're going to want to place fencing all the way across. And we're going to go four high with it. We are now going to add a row of blocks on the first row of gravel. And then on top of those blocks, we're going to go ahead and add redstone dust. Then we're going to remove this block here. We're going to add redstone here. Then we're going to get blocks that we're going to use to build with. So these are going to actually be seen. So these blocks here are what I'm going to build with. So I'm going to put one next to this fence post and one right here. Now we're going to put a button on here. This is going to be the button that opens and closes the gate. So if we hit this button, you can see the redstone dust turns on. Now we're going to bring blocks up both sides of this build. Now these will be seen, so these are the blocks you're building with. Now we're going to come in here opposite side of the button, and we're going to take out these four blocks and this additional block. Now we'll go ahead and connect the redstone. The redstone on the bottom is now connected with the redstone on the top. Now if we were to come over here and push the button, the fence gate goes up, the pistons retract, and all the gravel falls back down. So now we got to figure out how are we going to get the fence to close. Because now it's open, we got to build a mechanism up top so that the fence closes. Now we want to come up here and surround the fence with the blocks that we're using to build with. Because this will be as high as the fence goes. Now we're going to go on the back side of the build, and we're going to add a row of blocks here. And then we're going to go two more high with those blocks, just like this. This is the front of the build. We're going to come to the front of the build again, and we're going to add sticky pistons looking down at us, just like this. And then under those sticky pistons, we're going to place regular pistons looking down. Now we're going to go back to the back side again, and we're going to remove these blocks. And we're going to add repeaters going into each one of these sticky pistons. Then we're going to add a row of block here. And we're going to add redstone to those blocks. Remove these five blocks. Now place down slabs. We're going to come to the front of the build. Add a block here with a redstone torch here. Come down two blocks, block, redstone torch, and a button on that block. Place a repeater here, and two blocks here. Connect the redstone, then take your slabs and add slabs here. And blocks here. Add redstone dust, and underneath here as well. Now press your button, and the fence gate closes, press it again, the fence gate opens. The system on the bottom works the same as the system on top. So your button creates a pulse 
that lights up all the pistons. And while these are extended, this is still lit, extending the second piston. And then the same thing happens up top when you hit the top button. It extends it twice. Now, some of these pistons may stick like this, but the system still works. Now we just need to cover up our build. Now to put a button on this side, just connect the redstone here with a button here. You could take out this block here, add a button to the back, and now you can close it from behind as well. And then if you want to move the button so it's out more, just remove this button, place down a piece of redstone, Add a block here, and a button here, and now you can open and close from the other side. Alright, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye.